I've installed the uh, propeller and in my case with the hearth engine and the Tennessee propellers two blade wood prop you want to get yourself a set six of the eight millimeter by eighty millimeter bolts that will be the correct bolt for this propeller to this hub and they are drilled heads so we'll end up eventually safety wiring these bolts together to keep the torque in place. When you first put the prop on, the thing you're going to be concerned about it will be to set the tracking and it's a two-stage process. We're going to be using the AC4313 um, paragraph 7-43 in that section. Now to go from the 8 millimeter to the American Standard is a little bit hard, but roughly it's a 5 16 bolt that's going to be in shear load. These propeller bolts are made for high shear applications. As you can see as the propeller rotates, the power of the engine is being applied in a shear fashion across the shank of the bolt. Once we get it on there, I went ahead and hand tightened it down. Now you might want to make a mark on one of the bolts and that will be your index mark. And that's just so you know that when you get ready to tighten down your bolt, you start at your index mark, go to the other one which is exactly opposite and tighten down the equal amount. So for example, if I'm right here and here's my mark, I'm at straight up on, on that mark. Then when I get ready to tighten it, I'm going to go and turn a quarter of a turn. And I'll do the exact same thing for each one of these bolts. I'll just go a quarter of a turn. And we'll do a star pattern. Then I'll come back here, the same thing, start the same direction, go a quarter of a turn, a quarter of a turn, and then your outside edges in the same manner. So that as you're pulling these bolts down and you're pulling torque on the propeller you're bringing it up your your crush plate you got a crush plate here an aluminum crush plate and then there's a washer one washer underneath each one of these bolts and you're actually pulling that propeller up against the flange on the motor in an equal fashion so that down here when we're checking our tracking as we pull the propeller through and I'll, I'll show you if you want to zoom in down here. I've, I've taken and taped a piece of aluminum to the side of the tubing here. And we're allowed up to 1 16th of an inch. Now if you go in your AC4313 up in section 8-42, it shows propeller traction or propeller, propeller tracking as being 1 16th of an inch and we are within. I've actually preset this to shorten the video. So as I pull this propeller through in the opposite blade we look we have the same distance from my mark to the tip, the forward edge of the leading tip of that prop and that's telling me that our tracking is in place. Now we're going to go up here and I've preset the torque on my torque wrench uh, in inch pounds and again I'm referring to um, page 7-9 in the AC4313 for the 5 16 24 bolt and that's a bolt that's primarily used in shear propeller bolts 100 from 100 to 140 inch pounds so I chose the center which is 120 inch pounds again I'll start with my index bolt and I'll turn it until I get 120 inch pounds. Now you hear the click. Then you come down here there's my click. I'm going to go from here back up to this one. There's the click. And then the opposite one from that bolt There's my click. 
Then I'm going to come back here to this one. There's the click. And then we'll do this one. Now I'm going to go back to my original index bolt and start over again. And I shouldn't have to turn very far to get the click. We'll do that with each one. So we're going to do this twice just to make sure that we're pulling this prop in and as you see I'm pretty much turning the same distance on each one there we go now we'll go back through turn the prop and make sure that we still have tracking within sixteenth of an inch. Now I'm using my Mark 1 eyeball but I can tell you right now that the tracking is set. The only thing left now will be up here to safety these bolts before we run the engine. I've had people tell me, I'll oh, just run it up when you're done doing your testing and everything and go ahead and put your safety on. No. Safety these bolts before you run the engine. This is a propeller and the last thing you need is for this thing to wander off on you when you're running your engine up and doing testing. So that's, that's how you uh, install the propeller. Thank you.